Caleb, of all the places you've been, people you have met, and experiences you've had, somehow you ended up right here in this moment with me. It is as if there was an invisible force leading us to each other, forming us into the men we needed to be for ourselves and for each other. The first conversation we had, I knew there was something special about you, and you continue to show me all the reasons I continue to fall more and more in love with you. I think back on all of my choices and consider even the bad ones blessings because if I had done one thing differently, I might never have met you and become your husband today. Caleb, you make my world a better place when you are with me, and I can't wait to continue to show you how much I love you every single day for the rest of our lives. You are my love, light, and soulmate. You are the person that keeps me singing, smiling, and continuously laughing. You continue to encourage me to see my worth and what I bring to this life. You teach me and challenge me to be the best version of myself and continue to open my eyes, mind, and heart to see life in a whole new way. Your work ethic is second to none as you put your all into everything you do. And your punctuality is on point challenging me at every turn. These are a few of the many qualities I love about you, but most of all, I love you for loving me unconditionally. These past three years have been nothing short of incredible, and with every day that goes by, I still get butterflies when I hear your voice or see your face. I promise to kiss you every day, as we do today with love and devotion, and each kiss to follow will be a remembrance of these promises our joy, and the amazing future ahead. As we grow as a family, I promise to work together to be equal partners in life and to remember the person I married. Today and every day moving forward, I choose me, I choose you, and I choose us. You are my heart, my home, my joy, my every waking moment, and my forever dream of happiness. I love you, Colin here. Caleb, I love you. On behalf of Colin and Caleb and their families, I wish to welcome you to their wedding celebration. You all and everyone have made a sacrifice to be here today. And in that regard, we thank you and want you to know how grateful we are. The marriage relationship is grounded in the making of a commitment, not merely a commitment to live together, and clearly Colin and Caleb have lived together. What a deeper commitment, saying to each other that I want to be with you for a lifetime. This is why we are here today in the sight of all of you as witnesses to Colin and Caleb's devotion to each other. Clearly, they have given serious thought to their future together by bringing their wedding celebration to this day. This is the union of two individuals in heart, body, mind, and spirit. Therefore, their marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, honestly, and deliberately. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of Ohio and the Universal Life Church, I am delighted to declare you married and forever partners. And kiss your bride.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the new Mr. and Mrs. Hare! I must say that Denise and I are beyond thrilled to have watched the growth of their relationship and that today we have a new son-in-law. Colin's incredibly family oriented. Family is everything to him. Recently reflecting on pictures of him, the pictures overwhelmingly spoke for themselves. I saw an uncle that has always been there, dedicated and compassionate. All my girlfriends tell me how lucky my kids are to have an uncle as present and as loving as you are. Uh, he's always thinking of others, truly has a heart of gold. Uh, Colin and Caleb are certainly two crazy peas in a pod, but they fit each other perfectly. You two are incredible people inside and out, and I couldn't be happier that my best friend has now found his other half, or as Caleb calls Colin, his human. Then I love you both. <laughs>